This week on the show, we have Kyla Thompson. Kyla shares her daughter Bella's rare medical condition. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that life is too short to not be your own cheerleader. We all have those people in our lives who believe in us, sometimes more than we believe in ourselves. They see our talents, passion, and all the amazing qualities that make us special. So why is it that other people can see our value and strengths, but at times we struggle to see ourselves in the same light? Successful people are proud and confident in their abilities and cheer themselves every step of the way, whether picking themselves up after failure or triumphing in their wins. Don't be afraid to give yourself a pat on the back from time to time for all the hard work you're putting in. After all, your belief in yourself is the most important belief that will ever truly matter. As Reem Akra quotes, I am my own cheerleader. I am the one who puts my goals, who pushes myself to get to the next goal. I don't have someone next to me saying, here you go, now this. It's your next step, go for it. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And I know that David Foster met you uh, the day before the gala uh, to show his support. So let's talk about that experience for you and Bella. <laughs> That was such a precious experience. We were just so excited to be there and be invited to, you know, as a transplant family to just be in the same room of all these people supporting exactly what my daughter needs and her being a part of that and being in it and seeing that. And then on top of it, to meet the man that started it all was, it was just so healing and so wonderful he was so kind he just i remember he was standing with catherine and he just um he had something in his hand he just set it down and walked right over to bella and knelt down to talk to her and catherine was talking to me and um bella had actually when i explained to her who david foster was and what he does she immediately wanted to write him a song and sing it to him so she got a chance to do that wardrobe provided by h and n Next up on the show, we have Kayla Thompson. Her daughter Bella was diagnosed with a bowel disease, amongst other conditions, that led Bella to stay over 850 days in the hospital and with over 23 surgeries. Kayla joins us today to share Bella's story and to shed light on the importance of supporting organizations like Sick Kids Hospital and the David Foster Foundation that help children with life-threatening illnesses. Kayla, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing really good today, thank you. You know, I met you at the David Foster Gala, and when you told me your story about Bella, I was really compelled to share it with my audience. So let, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, when did you hear about Bella's diagnosis, and what did doctors tell you? Right. So Bella's medical journey started with her first bowel surgery being at just three days old. And from there, we spent the first two years of her life consecutively in hospital, discovering the extent of all three of her rare diagnoses. And um, uh, six years of battling bowel disease led to bowel failure for her and loss of vascular access. So in July of 2020, her doctors went through assessing her and explaining to me that she is now needed to be listed for a bowel transplant. Mm -hmm. And you know, 850 days in hospital, over 23 surgeries, and the nice thing that I always see is that she always has a smile on her face, she's always so positive and has great energy despite everything that's going on. So tell us about that. Yeah, I have definitely, I've learned from my daughter. Um, it is all her. She's taught me how to be brave, what that actually means. Um, seeing how she handles this harsh medical life has just left me in awe and it's all her and she wants to handle this her way and i've just been so proud of her that she is able to teach so many people that they can do hard things too mm -hmm. and of course as a parent it must be so emotionally taxing on you so how are you coping right now we it, you know a lot of um 
a lot of the organizations um, and charities that we're in touch with as a medical family have huge supports for the whole family. Um, like especially, for example, the David Foster family, they cover every scenario. Um, they fully understand what families like ours need to go through while waiting for transplant and during and afterwards. And um, the financial costs um, that that involves, especially if you're um, living out of province of where the transplant team would be. So for us, we're in Saskatchewan and her team is at Sick Kids in Toronto. Um, but we have an excellent medical team in where we live in Swift Current and her bowel team that's also in Alberta and all three of those teams make the wait a lot easier and provide a lot of support for my family. Yeah, absolutely. And what kind of medical costs are we talking about? Because I can imagine they're very expensive. And, you know, I know the David Foster Foundation, as you mentioned, um, helps with that as well as sick kids. So let's talk about how they helped and for anyone maybe going through something similar um, to you. Yes. So as soon as Bella was, her Alberta team had said, you know, she needs to be assessed for transplant. As soon as that happened, they were in contact with the sick kids team because we knew that's where uh, her transplant, the only place it could actually happen when we get the call. And so right from then on, um, things happened very quickly to get us in contact with the David Foster Foundation and they have supported me um, in every way that my family needs, whether it's getting Bella to Toronto from Saskatchewan with my husband, with my son, whatever we need while we're there in hospital, um, they are ready to cover the cost of flights, uh, accommodations where we need to stay, and food that we need while we're there. Hmm, that, that's amazing. And how mm -hmm. did you get introduced to the David Foster Foundation? So we have, uh, be, being a medical family, we we utilize our social services, our hospital uh, social services contacts in all three of the children's hospitals Bella attends. And so they all of them were aware of the David Foster Foundation. So, of course, our transplant team, our bowel teams, they knew to get us in contact with them right away. And then um, from then on, it was just really relieving to understand the support they can provide. Mm -hmm. And I know that David Foster met you uh, the day before the gala uh, to show his support. So let's talk about that experience for you and Bella. <laughs> That was such a precious experience. We were just so excited to be there and be invited to, you know, as a transplant family to just be in the same room of all these people supporting exactly what my daughter needs and her being a part of that and being in it and seeing that. And then on top of it, to meet the man that started it all was, it was just so healing and so wonderful he was so kind he just i remember he was standing with Catherine, and he just um he had something in his hand he just set it down and walked right over to bella and knelt down to talk to her and Catherine was talking to me and um bella had actually when i explained to her who david foster was and what he does she immediately wanted to write him a song and sing it to him so she got a chance to do that and um uh, Catherine was really sweet. She asked me a lot of questions. She really wanted to understand what Bella was going through and I could see when she started speaking to me and, and I was telling her what was going on in our life, she started to tear up a bit and she just, they both really care about what's going on with their transplant families and their foundation. Mm -hmm. And for those yeah. people that don't know, um, how does the David Foster Foundation find um, organ donors for, um, for, for people? So w they hold galas like they did in May and they rely a lot on um, social media. So I, I'm definitely do, trying to do my part in sharing what they do on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and getting, getting the word out there so that people can understand that they can not only donate to the foundation to support families, um, they, can do, they can do so much more if they visit their website and understand all the different ways that you can support and become a donor. Um, yeah, that way would probably be the best. 
Mm -hmm. And you know, when I see on Instagram, I see you, Bella, your husband, your son, so united. So what's something that you learned about yourselves during this process? Um, you know, we, we have learned truly and honestly that love conquers all and that no matter what hard situation we are in or that we find ourselves in, um, we always find and have a way to help each other heal. Um, we've had to be separated so much um, due to Bella being in hospital. And that's just really instilled in us that honestly life is too short and um, we, we really don't wanna leave any room for complaining or negativity, but instead um, really cherish and hold on to empathy and compassion for others. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing that you know, I got from you when I met you. You're, you're so compassionate. I see it in your eyes. Um, and, and I see Bella has those traits too. She's very loving and compassionate. It's really, really nice to see. I know she even has a TikTok channel, right? <laughs> um, yes. And yeah, and I know you guys have merchandise as well that people can yep. purchase to support charities as well as for medical costs. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so um, we, we uh, TikTok kind of started it all. Um, I was just playing around with the app and having fun with it. And we had, of course, a video go viral as they do on <laughs> TikTok. Um, and from there, it just really developed into a way for Bella and I to just share fun. We want to share joy. And Instagram has always been sort of our diary, our journal of the nitty gritty of what we go through as a medical family. And then we, want, we wanted to leave TikTok because it reached our channel just has reached so many people we really wanted it to, to leave it as a space where people can come and not only understand um what she's gone through via instagram but also realize that you know you can find the joy through the hardest of situations and we will be there to help you find it <laughs> yeah absolutely i mean yeah. i love that you're taking such a difficult situation and you're turning it into, you know, something that inspires other people because, you know, even though she's going through so much, she's, she still has a smile on her face. She's still happy. She's still bringing so much love and joy to people's lives, even during this difficult time. So I really love that. And you can feel the, the love. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I, I was going to say too, with our website that really started because I was a teacher and Bella's medical needs, like especially once she got listed for transplant, just really became too much for me to be able to continue teaching. And so um, my husband and I um, were able to set up our own website where we create and develop merch with Bella. She gets to design all of it. And we work on that together as a family and 50% uh, go to helping her medical costs that aren't covered. Mm -hmm. And I love the shirts, Be Brave. It's yes. so fitting. <laughs> I want one. I'm, I'm going to purchase yeah. one. Very cute. <laughs> Very cute and yeah. fitting. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, fast forward today, I know you guys are still waiting for a bowel transplant for Bella. So how have you guys been, you know, coping with this? Because I'm sure it's it's very difficult in, to deal it, with. It, yeah. It, you know, um, we're just so we are really thankful for everyone and all the teams involved that make the wait easier. I mean, not only the David Foster Foundation, but Make-A-Wish, um, the Ronald McDonald House Charities, um, all of these organizations that have just made the wait so much easier and, and companies that reach out to Bella and understand her situation and help support her along the way, knowing that this wait could be 10 minutes it could be 10 days it could be 10 years um and so we really just it, there's some really trying days and we just try to stay positive and all the people around us have really helped with that and it means a lot mm -hmm, absolutely and for any of our viewers watching um that are maybe going through a difficult time maybe they have an illness or they're going through a similar situation um what would you say or maybe losing hope because you know sometimes it could be a struggle you know there's good days and positive days um or sorry negative days so what would you say to someone watching going through a difficult time um, and not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel what would you say to encourage and uplift them I really thought about this and I, I wrote it down so I could really speak to anyone out there struggling. Um, I hope I don't cry because I'm kind of a sappy <laughs> sap that way. Um, you know, I just want them to know that we are in this boat with you. Um, we'll fight this storm alongside you and um, just find your strength to reach out and get what you need to keep your hope um, and keep moving forward. 
be brave in any way that you know how. And if you don't know how, I know that Bella would love to teach you. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me cry now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get all sappy and emotional. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, it, it's, it's, I yeah. understand. And, you know, for anyone that's watching that wants to know more about Bella's story and support you and different charities uh, that Bella's supporting, how can they do so? Um, so our, our Instagram, we have a, a lot of um, information on there for all the charities that have supported us and a lot of information about Bella's story and how to support her. And our Instagram is at Kyla CT, so that's me. And uh, same as our TikTok channel, at Kyla CT. And our website is www.bella-brave.com. And that also has a link to our YouTube channel um, and all the merch that Bella and I have designed for, to support her. Um, and our Facebook page is Bella Brave. Well, thank you so much, Kayla, for being on the show today. Keep being strong. I'm 100% confident that she will get the transplant. She will. We're going to fight for it. And yeah. our, <laughs> our viewers are going to help. And when they see this, they're going to be touched by their, her story as much as I was. So thank you so much for being on the show. Tell Bella to keep being an inspiration for everyone. <laughs> of course. No, she was like, wait, oh, can I come say hi? <laughs> hi, Bella. How are you? Good. <laughs> you're so cute keeping an inspiration you're inspiring a lot of people and we all love you that's pretty nice <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank you guys all right okay, guys bye. bye have a wonderful day thank you so much for everything of course thanks okay, for bye. thanks for taking bye. the time today Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs as well as on Apple and Android phones watch us live through YouTube and Facebook You can fly higher than